The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. And now, a BOA.TV original series. Welcome to the family. Previously on Welcome to the Family. Oh my god! <laughs> One of the things that I wanted to see is Times Square. What do you know about beauty, body, and art after dark? Well, I know about beauty and body. Oh my god. <laughs> Good evening, you beautiful people. Well, not everybody's beautiful, just some of you. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. The Philadelphia Museum of Art is a work of art itself. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm tired. Kudos to you, Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> the building is this gorgeous old building that they've kept up, and it's just beautiful. Almost close to 90 years old. Yeah, about 90 years old. The stuff in the maintenance of this museum is better than Buckingham. So I will run. You know, the movie they show me, he was at the top. Right. And the bottom to the bottom. Yeah. And what's going now on? Now he's off to the side. <laughs> well, I gotta tell y'all, this, this is the game plan. Rocky gotta go. <laughs> Rocky gotta go. The steps are going too. What? what? The steps are going too. What they gonna do is they're gonna, do is they're gonna cut those steps in half like this. And they're gonna put a glass in the steps where you're gonna actually come up the steps and you're gonna look down here into the museum. Oh, oh. We need yeah. And not only is it the home of the Rocky statue, but it's the home of, I believe, like over 227,000 other artifacts and over 800,000 people a year visit it. This museum was a little different than other museums because I think of the large scale of it. It was floor upon floor of different pieces of art and different eras and they had a whole Japanese tea house. They actually, you know, brought a house from Japan and rebuilt it and you really got to experience the art. This would have gone on top of a altarpiece and it's by the workshop of Duccio, so the big scene. <laughs> The artwork here is amazing. They have tapestries and a lot of gold in the art. You don't know, get this close to pieces like this. Absolutely spectacular. Totally worth the visit. More than I expected. Probably need a, a good four to five hours though to enjoy it properly. But the way everything's laid out, they know that. What did you like? I like how you didn't just get to see the art, but you got to actually experience the time period because they created the whole atmosphere of the time period for a lot of the different exhibitions. Oh my god, that dog has dreads! Oh my god, how beautiful! <laughs> we decided to meet up with JJ, one of our friends that we've known for a couple of years on social media, and it was our first time face to face. You guys yeah, recognize yeah, this guy? This hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> and this is where they made the movie, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this like is where he ran. That's the very steps. Yeah, those are the steps, right? Those are the steps. Yeah. The lesson is that social media is extremely powerful. I checked them out, and then from there, I followed them. And when I followed him, I followed him all the way through and then to this, to, to this point. Because of making all these friendships on social media, every time we go into a new city that we haven't been in, we see who we know there. I think it's great. I think it's a wonderful experience, you know, getting to meet people. You know, finally getting to meet Bert now, and I think that's a good thing, man. I think it's a, it's a wonderful thing. Now we're in downtown Philly, and we've asked some locals where we can get a really good Philly cheesesteak. There you go, Steve's Prince of Steaks. Okay. Man, you're a supermodel? No. Not a supermodel. Yeah, she's a supermodel. I believe it. <laughs> we are literally tourists and... Hold on, one second. Hello. We lost our supermodel. Hey, I love that supermodel. Oh, we'll be back. <laughs> because he thought I was parking here instead of letting you guys out. Yeah, this is our and ballet lane. I, I told him oh, we were going to lane. get Philly cheesesteaks He's and he had this face and I was like, oh. They're actually out in from the northeast. That, <laughs> are you you're originally from here? I'm, down, I'm downtown. That's why I'm telling you where to go. Right. So in Philadelphia, there's a lot of places you can get a Philly cheesesteak. However, the place that's most popular is two main restaurants. Pat's 
And you have Geno's. Geno's steaks, yep. Geno's or Pat's, they're right across the street from Ron and Ron. <laughs> Is that the one I see on, on the shows, like when you go to eat or whatever, the famous one that's got like a neon thing on the top? Yeah, that's the that's one the I've one. seen that's on TV. I've seen them yes. on TV. They are, like, have a, right yeah, they compete the across right from yeah. each other. They're right across the Yes, from yes, that's yes, it. definitely. I've seen right. that on TV. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. We knew we were in the right place because we saw signs everywhere that said basically that you can pick out. Just because the guy that we talked to was like, yeah, you should go to Geno's. I mean, so we want to try out Geno's. We'll be back to Philly, you know, we'll try out Pat's. Now we can at least say that when we were in Philly, we had a Philly cheese thing. Aha! Found him! Got him! Mario's another friend that we actually met through social media, but we've met him face to face before. Family! 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 This is too awesome to see you guys. Look at this, this is insane. I need to be filming all three of these cameras. <laughs> And uh, we just wanted to reconnect with him. His energy is fabulous. Mario is known as a tech guy for the Today Show and NBC. Okay, so I'm yeah, going to sign off that. now and enjoy my visit. I will catch up with you guys later. When you meet that person in person, you find out one of two things. Either they are completely that person and they are as sincere as they are on camera, or you realize that they're putting on that thing for the camera. And so with him, it was just like, I felt like I already knew him. I felt like we were already friends and homies. And then when we met each other, it, it, it cemented that because he felt the same way. So I saw a scope in Philly and I saw like, uh, I saw something on Instagram in New York or Jersey. So where were you guys coming? No, so we went to a trip. Okay. We were on a cruise doing uh, one of those seminars on the cruise. Oh, got it. With okay. a few speakers. Yeah. So we did that. And then we then use our organization whenever we go to another country to help and teach the children. So when we were in Bermuda, we didn't do the tourist thing. We actually went into Bermuda to the school board and did an event for the kids. And that really? Was, yeah. 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 A little girl eat fire. She got all the right? Is that right? Yeah. For us to go on vacation, we don't know what? vacation. We, we, we do what's called workation. Mm. You're working and yeah. vacation at the same time. Yeah. Everybody else is gearing up and getting on a tour bus, shuttling off to, you know, to somewhere else. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. we're having more fun because we're getting the hugs from the kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't want to be like the other 97% of the speakers because you get to a certain level of success and you don't you're, you're not like getting further and further away from society you got to get into mm -hmm. the trenches so that's one of the things we're real so we've met a lot of people through social cam and through glide and whenever we're traveling like right now i got, I got makeup on i'm mm. like a drag queen or something <laughs> i can't tell no. <laughs> you know, I like, no but that's because oh last yeah, night, no, I can yeah, see that. yeah 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 last <laughs> night you know we were at d works which is someone that we met we had a great time we stayed at her place she's so a we, professional makeup artist for the celebrities uh, and stuff and then she also does face painting but at a whole different level yeah 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 so oh that's the image i saw on yeah. instagram what was yes. like well what is yeah. that the next uh, trip that you guys, well, the, or you guys jump to Miami. The next event that they go and make it happen, I'm showing up. I want to be a witness. I want to shoot this. I want to be a part of just being in the crowd. I want to feel this energy. I want to, because I see the video and you can see the transformations that happen. And you can see the impact. And you guys wouldn't be doing it and as we long as you would if yeah, you weren't getting that we, impact we all the time. It's hard to document what you go through. Yeah, like even Tony Robbins. Have you ever been to one of his events? No, I haven't. Okay, I really recommend this. Really? Right. Okay. Yeah, he's awesome. Okay. Our event is not comparing it, but basically that's what it is. It's an experience. Yep. It's not just an event. You know, it's not just a, I'm going to go ahead and talk down to you and tell you my story. Right. No, it's edutainment. Mm -hmm. Education and entertainment mm -hmm. put together. It's not a talk. Not a you talk. know, I knew that. I knew it wasn't just like eating fire. Like, We're doing I knew another that was like cruise, a highlight, uh, but I knew that just wasn't it. You know? We're doing another cruise for veterans. I saw that. In April. I saw that. I saw the post about yeah. that. And I was like, like, that's huge. Yeah, that's yeah. gonna be fun. It didn't fine. look like it was crazy expensive either. It like no, it was pretty they're affordable. usually pretty affordable. Yeah. Even though I spend three weeks out of the month doing events and traveling the world, I still find time to connect with people, especially people like Mario. Connecting with people, it's, it's not an easy thing to do. Probably like, it's much easier for them to just get on a plane or get on some trains and just get from point A to point B and do it really quick. But to actually have the consciousness of mindset to be like, you know what, let's take our time and let's actually stop through. While we were sitting at Starbucks having a conversation with Mario, I looked over and I saw these two biker guys. Well, there was actually three, but two of them were wearing this logo, similar logo, and it caught my attention. It turned out that they were a Christian biker group. 
which was very interesting. Hi, my name's Marty, I'm on film here. There's no coincidence that we're sitting here. There's no coincidence why she caught, that caught her attention, the logo. Because we didn't even see the name, we just saw the logo. And everything happens for that reason. So this this is why I'm trying to show you. I'm yeah, trying to show him this platform. The app. I'm out of touch with people, and I like it that way. Ronnie's Who's out of touch with people? Ronnie's Sam. Sam, Sam, said Sam you, you need Jesus, man. Yeah, you need Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Never, Never settle, settle and make, make it happen. <laughs> That's it, brother. That's it, brother. For many years, I've heard that Myrtle Beach is a fabulous place to visit. Although it wasn't exactly on the way, we decided to kind of detour a little bit and go check out the scenes. So now we can say that we've been to Myrtle Beach. We've been everywhere on this trip. But uh, that's what we like to do, just stop and see stuff. Myrtle Beach seems to be a very family-friendly environment, so if you got kids, you might want to swing by there. What did we learn today? For the past couple of years, I made a ton of money through social media. Most of the contacts that I've been building for the past couple of years has been through social media. People really don't use it that way. People are intimidated. Man, just reach out. This is so much better than back in the old days when you had to pick up a phone and go through three or four different people in order to get to that person. You're one click away from the person that you want to meet and actually do business together. And besides business, build strong relationships like I have. I want you to go out this week and connect with someone. In fact, why don't you just connect with me? And that way we can build a relationship. Hope you enjoyed this episode as much as we enjoyed making it for you. And remember, you must keep making it happen. I'll see you next week. Hi, I'm Val and welcome to the family. Make sure to like, comment, and share. Hey. And subscribe, of course.